The modern education system has failed you. It has led you to believe that learning a skill is about reading some textbooks or sitting in a lecture hall, taking notes well enough that you can pass some sort of quiz. And look, look, you've learned this skill. Like that's not how it works in the real world. I see it all the time with you guys who watch my channel who are learning to code on your own. For example, I know a lot of you stress and spend so much time and thinking like, what is the right path? I need to pick the right path. I need to pick the right curriculum, the right projects. You stress so much about that, right? Or another good one is data structures and algorithms. If you watch YouTube enough, everybody talks about it, right? Like if you try to even learn a little bit of it and you struggle, you probably get a little bit demoralized, right? But you wanna know something freaking crazy. It's gonna blow your mind here. I would say that about half of the clients who I've worked with in my mentorship program, who have actually landed a job, have landed a job in a programming language that they did not know. Okay, so let me be very clear. I've worked with many, many people who've landed a job, they've learned one programming language, and they got a job in a programming language they had no experience in. Like, for example, somebody who I vividly remember, he had learned Python really well, he landed a job in Java, and he even did really miserably on the technical assessment, but they saw his body of work, his portfolio, they really liked him and his personality, they ended up hiring him, right? Uh, let's talk data structures and algorithms, something that might be some, kind of mind blowing to some of you. I'd say 90%, right? 90% overwhelming majority of the clients who I've worked with who landed a job had zero or very little knowledge in data structures and algorithms. So what's going on here? Why for many of you, you're having this moment of like, this doesn't make any sense. I've been told many other different things or that, you know, I thought school was supposed to teach you like a certain way. What I see often happens when people who land a job in my program, for example, is that they come in for interviews and the interview has maybe a technical assessment that they do either okay on or very well on, and that's important. But when they get into the interview room, a lot of it centers around the conversation of what have they been doing? Like, tell me about your journey to this interview today. How did you get here? How have you learned? What have you done? And that's where they can talk about being in my mentorship program. They can talk about their learning process. They can talk about the projects they built. And what ultimately leads to them getting a job, and this is what my video is all about, is can they pick up things quickly? Can they learn a skill very quickly? And real quick, before I get into what that even means, make sure to go down below, hit the subscribe button. That will improve your rapid ability to learn any skill very quickly. So go ahead and make sure to do that right now. Now, what I mean by being able to pick up a skill quickly. So it's not just about being able to pass a test. That's what school has led you to believe, that if you just pass a test, you get a certification, you are ready to go. That's not how it works in the real world. When you are a software developer, your boss doesn't give you a quiz to fill out and like, here, be able to pass this quiz. They're looking for people who can actually do something, write code, fix bugs, read through code, refactor, make things better, build new parts of applications that exist in their company. And while companies used to be able to look at your background, what college you went to, what was your degree and determine, okay, you're ready to go. That's not how it works anymore. The quality of schooling has gone down. The education system doesn't do that great of a job of teaching people how to actually be programmers. So now companies are inundated with people who look like they should be good developers. They ended up hiring them, but they end up letting them go because they don't actually have the skills to survive as a programmer because they have done the classic school approach, which is quizzes, which is you know passing a test. So the what you really wanna do here is you want to be able to go into an interview, tell your story of how you have learned this, how you've gone through the process of learning, show them what you've done to actually do this, right? As I always say in my channel, building projects, making sure to attack your weaknesses and be able to explain how you've learned what you've learned, how you've gone through this process, it matters a lot more. And by the way, if you're curious about what I'm talking about here, I'll leave a link to a video about how to learn to code quickly that I cover all of the basics of this. So the last idea I wanna leave you with is just really my experience of helping people to land jobs in my mentorship program you would think that the people who I've helped land a job just had a exquisite record, right? They have a perfect portfolio. They do so well in the interview. They prepare very well. Of course, I try to do all of those things with them, but to be honest with you, when people go in an interview, they're nervous. Sometimes they're, the job that they're applying to is not exactly aligned with their skills, so their technical assessment, they don't do perfectly on. But overwhelmingly, the feedback that I get, the stories that are told to me by my clients who landed jobs, is that they didn't always do that well. And actually where they landed the interview was actually in the behavioral interview part, right? Not the technical interview part. So they explained their story, they told them about what they did, and the, the company fell in love with them. They're like, okay, you know what? I'm pretty sure that this person we're gonna hire can do the job. So the trust 
in your ability to pick up things quickly is very, very important. So you wanna do all the things I talk about on my channel, make sure you're building projects, make sure you're learning theory, of course, but applying it, like you actually having application of that theory goes much more than being able to step in an interview and just talk about all the things that you know. So that's really important. Also, by the way, if you are interested in getting more content from me, I have a free Facebook group that you should join if you haven't already. I will leave a link in the description below of how you can join that. Other than that, that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, peace out, everybody.